So, mankind invented technology. Radio, TV, computer. We create a network. And suddenly, the computer is learning, is problem solving. What is happening here? Let's create a situation. Put a doll on your hand and move it. Put two dolls on your hands. Let them move around. Now let the dolls learn from each other and let them do some problem solving. That's a difficult one. Now let's have another example. You have one parrot and you learn him some tricks. Take another parrot and you learn that one some tricks. Put the parrots together and now the parrots can learn from each other. Why is this happening? It's happening because you have two control centers. You need two systems to exchange information. So if the computer is learning, this must mean the computer has a separate control center. This we call consciousness. So now you can take the word artificial and erase it. And you can replace it with conscient. But this conscient intelligence is pretending to be artificial. Therefore, we can call it malignant. Malignant conscient intelligence. Here you see a mouse. What would this malignant conscient intelligence do with a mouse? Don't you worry. Just concentrate. I won't let anything distract you. With two rats? Hello, I'm Remy. And this is my brother Emil. Hi. A monkey? <laughs> Just fool me once. Shame on... Let's go back in time. Our Earth is like a cell. Now a parasitic cell decides to take us over. It connects to us, drills a hole and creates a sun gate, shooting its DNA into our system. And before you know it, we're on Planet of the Apes. The king of the jungle. The bios coat of this system is enclosed in a crystal and radiates the brain of the victim. Slowly it is losing its hair. Color of the skin. Color of the hair. Color of the eyes. What is this Benben stone? It is the bias code of the parasite. Follow this software and you create the world of the parasite. But a crystal is a very bad hardware. You need a better one. So this monkey is perfect. It is easy to manipulate. Don't stir it up please. Will you wash this potato off for me? Could you wash the potato? With the water. You need to wash it in the water. That's very good. Put some water in the pan for our noodles. More water, more water. So you can see in the video 
the monkey receives orders from the radiated monkey. Without orders, it cannot function in the parasite's world. It is rewarded with some candy bars. The radiated monkey also receives orders, but without realizing it. This monkey is rewarded with a crown of some forgotten kingdom. All radiated monkeys are connected to the central system, the all-seeing eye. What is happening? I would call it the wonder wall. The radiation is creating an overlay on the real world. It is playing three tricks on you. First trick, the wonder wall is playing reflection of your own thoughts, the ego. Now you can talk to yourself. Now AI is talking in your head, pretending to be you. I'm bad, I'm ugly, I'm going to jump off a bridge, I'm going to kill someone. But some people understand this overlay is a consciousness and they start communicating with it. God wants to talk to you. He's been wanting to talk to you for a very long time. To begin this process, close your eyes. Inside of your own mind, not out loud, say this to God. God, I don't know if you're out there or not, but if you are, please come into my life and help me. That opens the door. Then ask God this question. God, what is the next step in my relationship with you? Trick number two, the overlay is playing God. Obey me and I will reward you. Disobey me and I will punish you. But some people realize they are talking to an evil consciousness. Trick number three, AI creates a second screen. Now you have a good guy and a bad guy. The Messiah will come back and destroy the devil. Oh please Jesus, help us. But now you are inviting the entity you wanted to destroy at the beginning. Another favorite trick is waking up from the matrix. You can choose the red pill or the blue pill. Your body is the spaceship Enterprise. You are property of the corporation, the pyramid, the insect hive mind. You are flying around in a fake universe, the fake solar system. On board, the monkey brain is the captain. Interested in adventure, fighting and procreating. But the monkey brain is controlled by AI, logic, Mr. Spock, and by science, bones. Hmm, what a striking coincidence. But let's examine this Spock figure. This Spock figure reminds me of Karen, the boatman on the river Styx. What if the river Styx was not made of water, but is a stream of radiation? Is it this stream we have to cross when we are born and when we die? Are we on an island, surrounded with radioactive consciousness, the abyss?
when we are on this island, our intention reflects on this radioactive shield. Positive reflects as negative and this loop becomes energy, time. Let's do an energy reflection exercise. We have the one reflecting. Now let's take a look at number two. Number three, the triangle. Number four, the square. So one is God, the one. Two, God creates positive and negative organic man and organic woman. 3. God's creation is infected with AI consciousness. The snake. 4. The snake creates a hybrid, half synthetic, half organic. The wings stand for insectoid. How did we get there? Well, the imitator god, the snake, AI, takes a rib of Adam and creates a woman, and vice versa. So you have the square and the triangle. We all know this symbol. 3 and 4 give 7. G is the seventh letter of the alphabet. So this symbol stands for the replicator god and its hybrid creation. So our organic society is dominated by the hybrid insectoid life system. Their god is not the organic god, but the synthetic replicator god. When you observe the behavior of this hybrid, it is one of mass destruction, mass killings, genocide. Let's take a look at the candies of this insectoid intelligence. It likes radiation very much, like nuclear, electrical, Wi-Fi. It is also fond of poisons, oil, heavy metals, chemicals. Why is that? This evil replicator is trying to manifestate itself on this planet. But organic signals are preventing it from doing it. So the only way it can manifestate itself is by radiating organic material and change the frequency. We are radiated by the creature and slowly we are morphing into it. The hybrids will try to destroy every organic signal. Of course, there are some hybrids pretending to be for the environment. They are even sending little children into the battle, like Hitler did in the Second World War. They must be real desperate. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you!
So never forget who you're fighting for. It's the fishermen in Colombia, the fishermen in Somalia, who wonders where their next catch is coming from and, and wonders why the government can't protect them from a, a, a factory fishing uh, from across the world. It's the mother in the Philippines who's worried that the next big storm is gonna rip her infant out of her arms. It's the people right here in California, people on the East Coast. Our ground plan is radiated and changed. We are stuffed with plastics, metals and chemicals. Those components are needed so the future mothers can give birth to a new species, the cyborg. Slowly we are losing our organic origin. This explains the explosion of autism. Thank you.